Hello, good evening, and we're here for another exciting lessons on theory, which could help you more than you know someday. Now, what we're going to do today, we're going to talk about the chord family in the key of C, okay? So if you're writing a song and you want to make sure that it's going to sound right, throw these chords together. They should work for you. Um, you can do them in any combination you want. Uh, Play the C to the D minor, or the D minor to the E minor. Play C to E minor. You can you can have a ball with this, okay? So the first chord in here is going to be a C chord, and we all know we're pretty much. If you've been playing for a while, you, you know it. But let me show it to you here. It has three notes in it: a one, a three, and a five. So we have the one is a C, of course, and then it goes two is D, E is three. So it has a C. Get an E right here, and also here, and a C here, and then we have a five, C, D, E, F, and then uh, G. Okay, that's going to be your five note. So the three notes we have are C, E, G, and there's your C chord. Guitar, man, that you have a C, E, and a G chord is a fair game for getting this one, like right here on the fifth fret, second, third, and fourth strings. You have a G, C, E. You can use that. Perfect. Or you can, you can do, actually add your bass note up here to C and then do those three. That's just, this is our C chord. This is C chord. One, two, three. And hey, you can actually play the E too. Does that work? Let me see. Let me just, I don't like the sound of that. All right, here we go. So a C, E, and a G make up your C chord. Now, the next chord, we're just going to go up the alphabet, okay? And this is going to be a D minor chord. And minor chords are numbered one, a flat three, and a five based on the key that you're in looking for. Now we're in a key of D minor, which is actually oh, sorry, hold on. Okay. Now the D minor chord um, has a one flat three and a five, and it's in D minor is actually a part of the key of F. So it's a relative minor chord in the key of F, just like A minor is a relative minor chord in the key of C. It goes down three, uh, easy, C, B, A minor. Then F, go backwards um, to E, D minor, okay? So we have a D note, now a flat three is gonna be D, E, and the key of D, the F is sharp, so, I mean the key of F, no it's not sharp, the key of F, the B is flat in the key of F, that's all. So we're gonna go D, E, then an F natural, we have that right here on the first string, okay? Uh, D is right there and right here. So we go D, E, F is natural, G, and we had to flat that F though. And the key of D, uh, F rather, um, well, I guess maybe we've got the key of D. Key of D has two shots, so one of them will be an F. And we'll flatten that to a F natural, first fret, okay, right there. Now the next chord, we have a C. D minor, and then the next chord is going right off the alphabet. It's going to be a minor chord. We're going to go major, minor, minor. So the minor chord here is going to be an E minor. Uh, the easiest chord, the first chord you should learn on the guitar because it's easy. You just have, now let's just go over the notes. We have one flat three and a five because it's a minor chord. Your one is an E. There's also an E here. There's also an E here. 
right there. So we're only gonna put a second finger on the second fret of the fifth string and a third finger right underneath that, that second fret of the fourth string. So we have the one. Now the flat three is gonna be E, F, G. So long as it's gonna be a G, um, G is normally sharp. So we're actually flattening that down to a G natural. And the key of, key of E, the uh, G is sharp. F, C, G, it's the third sharp that comes out in the, in the list of sharps, okay? There's an E minor right there. Now the next chord is gonna be major, so major, minor, minor, major, and it's gonna be an F chord, E, F, we're going C, D, E, F, F major. We have an F for the one, G, A, for the three, B, C, for the five. So it's F, A, C, almost spells face. For your F chord. Fifth chord in every key is a dominant seventh. And a dominant seventh goes, it's going to be a G7. Now the key of G has one sharp in its CF. Okay, so we're going to go G is one, A, B is three, natural three because it's not a minor chord, okay? It's not a flat three. And then we have G, A, B, C, D right there. And we just want four notes, so we need a seventh. So we're gonna go G, uh, G, um, uh, G, then A, B. G is one, B is three, C, D is five. And then the seven is gonna be a flat seven because it's a G seven, plain old G seven chord. Now your seventh chord in every key sounds like it wants to return to the one. So listen to this, we go to the C, we're gonna resolve to the C. Yes, yeah, this guitar is like crazy. It's alright, that's a good sound. So we go from the G7, you usually resolve to the C. That's pretty much the end of a lot of songs, okay? Um, for sure. Now, um, we've got the C, looks like this. Third finger, third fret, fifth string, second string, uh, fifth, fourth, fifth string, second fret, fifth string. Sixth string, third fret, second string, uh, fifth string, second fret. Um, next string down is open for the D. Then the G, the next one. Then the B, and then the F, natural, which is a flat seven right there. And there's your seventh sound. It's called a rogue guitar, man. It's a fifty dollars special, but hey, it works fine. The tuning keys are a little bit shaky, kind of on the loose side. You know, they're not really firm. Oh, and the E went down. Interesting. There we go. Okay, so here's your seventh chord. Listen to it again very carefully. And it resolves to the root note, the C. G7. To the C. Okay, easy enough. Now let's um, take a couple of the chords. Remember that C scale? C, D, E, F, 
Further up the alphabet, we go back to the A. So C, 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 D, E, L, G, A, B, C. This is far as that, okay? Now let's, um, remember that's a C scale. And that's what we're going to play with these chords, is a C scale, and it'll work fine. It's fine. The other thing you could do is, um, if you're playing a folk song or something, is to play the C major pentatonic. Now, um, for example, like the C um, minor pentatonic for blues, you come up, you want to come up to the eighth fret. That's where your C note is on your first string. And you go eighth fret to 11 on the sixth string. Then you want to go eighth fret to 10 on the fifth string. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Then we went on the fourth string, and so far we've gone B to D, then we went E to G, now we're going to go B to D. Oh yeah, no, 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 what the heck is that? Oh no, we're on the third string, so it's going to be D to F, D to E rather. So. One three one four one three one three one three, and then for the last two, we want uh, we see a you see a G there. We want that one. Yeah, that's cool. Then we go to an A. And then we're gonna go down here to the C. Then to the D. From the B. Okay, so let's see a couple of chords. Um, pick them up. All right, I hear you. You want to do an E minor to an A minor? Okay. I'm just going to play scales in the C notes. So we can go from the E, let's start there, E, F, G, A, B, C, E, D, E, all naturals. That's an E, right? D is hammered into the E. Fourth string. I'll pick that third string, it sounds pretty good. Now I'm going 
Father, and fifth fret, and do it in a major pentatonic. Let's try, um, let's try C to, oh, we forgot one chord. The B minus seventh, flat five. So we got the B, and it's a minor chord, so C, D is sharp in the key of B, so we're going to make it a natural. Um, hold on, let me just, um, hmm. Flat three, yeah, B, C, D. So we got the B, C, D, sharp, so D, E, F is usually sharp, so you want to make that natural, so we're going to go right there, there's your, F, there's your F natural, now we also need the D natural too, and we can find that right here. So we go B, C natural, and D, because the C's and the D's are sharp. We got flat three and the five now. Um, minus seven, flat five. So the five, the fifth is actually flat here. So that's an F is not enough sharp. It's going to be an F natural. Someday we'll get into, you know, all the sharps and flats in each key. And it's, it's not that hard. It's just if you, if you can do multiplication and addition, you figure this out in two seconds. Just look in a book. Look in a book for scales and keys and key chords, all that stuff. You'll find it. The sources are everywhere these days, you know? You can't lose. Okay, now, uh, minus seven, flat five. So B, C, we found the D. E, we found the F. G, A is the next one. Now, um, A, we see uh, five, six sharps. Yeah, F, C, G, D, A. The A is sharp in this one, so we want an A natural. And that's so. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna actually do it with my on my fourth. So A natural. Um so that's only half a note. B F then the A. Okay. B um B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Okay, the A and A is um, going to be natural. Right there. Yeah, so the B is natural. The F is natural. The D is natural. And the A is natural. Now, uh, let's see what we can, what we want to play with A. Probably right there. That's cool, yeah. B, B, yeah, B, C, D, B, F, A, D, B, F, A, D, B, Kind of like using that D, the D on the third fret down here. Okay, so if we go B, to F, to A, to D. So let's see, we're going to put our fingers on each chord here. We're going to go second there, third there, first here. 
So we've got that covered. Um, I'd kind of prefer to do something like this. The A, the A here, B there. And our fourth finger over here on the F. Well, B, fourth finger on the third finger on the third fret. And then the A. Now after that, we want to go to B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Okay, B, C, D, G, F, B, A. Okay, so we, we want to have um, this right here. And this right here. There's your B. And there's your A. I don't know about you folks, but that was pretty close to a dimension chord. Diminished chord, you know? Very dark chord, huh? And then we go back to the C. And that's of course a one, three, five. Let's put together um the C to a D minor. We're gonna go one to two. Okay, right next to each other. So here's your C. D minor. I'm gonna add the G here, sounds cool. Back to the C. Let's so come out with the chords. Uh, C, we did it with the D minor, the E minor, we played with that. Um, D, oh, C, D minor, E minor, F, F natural. Okay, let's just say F natural and go from that to the uh, D minor. That'd be cool. Yeah. So F. Song. Let's go with uh we'll make it real easy. We'll go C to F. Okay, that's a good little uh, you go from, we'll go from a one to a four. Okay, C D E F is four. Okay, and you get a little rock beat going there. Come on, let's do the G here, too. Oh, 
Okay, so that's pretty easy stuff. I'm gonna write these on the back too. If you, hit, if you go, go to the site and you pick up the video, you'll see like a little V down on the right hand corner on the low spot there. Hit that and you'll see, I'll write down all the course and stuff for you, okay? Have a great day and uh, we'll continue with this. And, you, know, it's, you know, it's scary and it's weird, but um, it will help you out if you kind of forget something because you can figure it out by the theory. And what's real in that? Okay, we got a C, D minor, E minor, F, G seventh, A minor, A minor, because I know it's B minor seven flat five. Okay, and then a C chord again. Okay, remember the major chords like the C go one, C, D, three, E, F, and G is five. Okay, C, so you got a C, E, and a G. And that makes up an uh, C chord. And your minor chord, it's gonna go one flat three five. So for the E minor, let's say, um, we've got an E and then uh, F, G is usually sharp, so it's gonna be a G natural. Wait a minute, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, so we go B, C, D, now D. Um, it's going to be flat because it's a minor chord. So you got the G natural. I'll be right with you. No, no, no. Yes, you're right. Are you right? I had somebody asking me a question. No problem. Okay. All right. You're right. Yeah, yes. One, yeah. The dentist's office. That's what you said. Or the eye doctor. Okay. This is, uh, we'll wrap this up. Um, let's just over there, B minor 7 flat 5. So we've got B, C, D natural, E, F natural. B, F, D. B, F, B, F, D. B, F, D, E. So we go B, E, F, A. We want an F now, an A rather. And we're going to find that the best place on the third string, um, second fret. B, F, A, D. And now, oh, oh, we need a G. Where are we going to find that one? Um, hmm, let's see. And we're going to mix it in with all of these, okay? We come up here, put our third finger on the third fret, right? And then take this first finger and go right across. So we have, we still can get the, um, down here we can get the A. We got B. F. E, um, E. B, C, D, E. See, the E doesn't really play a role in this chord because it's the fourth. So we want the B, F, and then we want the G. Okay, and we can, leave, we can just leave that open. And then to add the D right here. Let's, you can play it as simple as like this. You want the B minor as a flat five. The A minor. C to C up there. C, you can do that on the second string right. Center C right here. C, D, E, so one, three, five, six to the F. G is on the eighth. Then the A on the tenth. Twelfth on the B, like the open. Oops. 
<laughs> we were That's weird, huh? And a C on the 13th fret. So we go 1, 3, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, do re mi fa so la ti do. Now let's try for the heck of it. Just, uh, we'll, we'll do some actually a couple rounds and 12 bar moves. And for that, we'll use a, we're gonna go down and use this C major pentatonic. So, no, we're gonna C minor. Seven two. Pretty good. F A C. Got all in there. Plus you add the E on the bottom. Pretty, well. Pretty huh? That's a, that's nice for you. That's the major. It's got the F natural in there. Okay. 
Um, let's just try uh, this chord a little bit more, okay? We got that happening, B half, okay. Actually, take this first string and bar it from the fifth string to the A string. You want the fifth and the third to really stand out. And then, um, don't worry about, you got the D here on the third string. Um, B, C, D, you don't worry about the E too much, or dear. But you can actually add, uh, if you want, you can reach down here for the A. B, F, now open D, fine. Now here's the A. D. G is right down here. Why well, you can go to the A? So basically, B, F, D, A, B, B, F, B, F. Come on. second fret, there's your F, and there's your D. Make it kind of like, there's a thing called a diminished chord, okay, which has four notes. So if you want your F, it's got an F in it, um, it's got a B here, D, and then a G sharp. And it always looks like a square like that, so you got these diminished chords you could call it any name that's in the chord so down here in the fourth fret we have a b you could call it an f, dim f diminished up here b diminished you could call it a d diminished we're going to put the d in on the second string and then we could call it a g sharp diminished so that's going to be in there too One fret and back one fret. Okay, that's all. Have a good day. Love you folks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, please. Please hit that subscribe button.